All right, so I'm moving object or moving stuff along, and I'm going in through my subdivides and making sure that I'm only using the move and smooth key for a while, you know, so I can get stuff like this. And I'm working only on this one finger right now. Uh, but I figure, you know, it'd just take too long if I did the whole hand. But what I really want to do is show you tips. That's the main thing. Sculpting takes practice, but the tips you gotta learn. Let's say this finger is hard to work with because the other fingers are in the way. Well, what I could do is come up with an idea that, well, I could do this every time, control shift and let go and it'll give me that. I can hold control shift and let go of con shift and I get this and I can get that finger. Okay, now that'll work but let me show you a couple other things here now that I, I'm to this point. Let's say I want to make that finger, the one I'm working on, its own polygroup. Okay, so practice using Control Shift, let go of Shift, and I have this finger right here. If I go down here and make this a polygroup by hitting Group Visible, what it is now is I'm able to go in here and quickly hold control and shift and click on that finger and I can get that finger by itself. And if I double click scale, I can zoom right in on that and yeah. Now here's another advantage. If I want to, let's say, see how I'm pivoting around this and it's really awkward? Well, <laughs> here's where we start getting into the fun stuff uh, because here I have a way of actually setting the pivot point on the object. So now if I double click scale, look, I'm rotating fluently around the finger. And I can quickly go in here and really add some more detail to it and not worry so much about the hand. And if I need to go back, all I do is have to control shift anywhere outside the box. And now see, I'm still rotating around the finger. Well, I go back into the transform and I clear the pivot point and it moves it right back into the shape and I'm not um and I'm just working on the overall hand again. So quickly kind of learn, you know, control shift, boop, boink, go in here, set the pivot point, work on the object, blah blah, and then uh control shift anywhere, blah, and then clear the pivot point. Okay? And if you need to know the hiding and selecting of things, that's uh control shift to make anything in the green box appear all by itself and if I let go of shit let go of shift you'll get the red box and it'll cut stuff off red is to cut green is to keep all right so on with the tips